So um, my name is Jeannie Falcon, and um, I'm a chief engineer at, at National Instruments. I'm also a lecturer, and I'm standing too far from the microphone. <laughs> when I'm a lecturer, it's a smaller venue. Um, I'm a lecturer at the University of Texas at Austin in mechanical and, elect and uh, aerospace engineering. So today I'm going to talk about National Instruments software, both LabVIEW and NI uh, Veristand, and that, that's built on LabVIEW, and how we integrate with different software products. I'm going to start out with just our integration with the, the MathWorks products. Um, we have a couple of means of integration. We've broadened LabVIEW so that you can use multiple models of computation, including the MathScript RT module where you can cut and paste M file code. Oops cut and paste your M file code directly into a box on the LabVIEW diagram, bring in inputs and outputs, uh, use it to parameterize uh, models, and, and, just, and then run it on the desktop or real time. And we've also, with uh, the control design and simulation module, there we basically added little arrows to the LabVIEW wire so that you get signal flow ra rather than just data flow. And we've worked on interfaces with Simulink there where you can just take your MDL model and convert that over. Now we have other means of bringing uh, different modeling environments into LabVIEW and I'll cover those. Um, we also work with MATLAB and Simulink and MATLAB and Simulink Coder bringing that into Veristand. And Veristand is a configuration based tool built on LabVIEW that also allows you to just quickly bring in different models and controllers and run them on NI hardware. So both LabVIEW Real-Time and Veristan work with a, a wide variety of hardware. I brought one little example today. I'm going to pass this out. So this is real-time hardware. And I'll show you some code that works on that also with information about how different software tools can link into either of these tools and then run on hardware or the desktop. So what we have been working on with um, partner companies is FMI links to both LabVIEW and NI Veristand. So we're, we're still early in the process. We have um, work to do, but you can take modeling tools, different types of modeling tools, bring them into LabVIEW um, or into Veristand. When you bring them into LabVIEW, you can either bring them um, into native LabVIEW or the control design and simulation module. Once you do that, you can use LabVIEW state machines. You can use pr producer consumer architectures. You can do joint control and monitoring. You can basically build up a machine with both monitoring and control capabilities embedded in it. Or you can do hardware in the loop test with uh, NI Veristand. And all of these tools offer different paths of integration, but our goal is to always work with um, a wide variety of third party tools eventually through, for all of these tools, through the FMI interface. Now we still have linkages to these tools now with built in interfaces in the control design and simulation module and NI Veristand. Now the hardware that I passed around. Um, it has both a real-time processor on it where we currently run models from any of these modeling environments, uh, you know, a wide variety of modeling environments. So it has a real-time processor, it has a field programmable gate array, and that's very useful for when you want to do high, um, high speed models. Also, while this board just has a, a single core real-time processor, we now have um, board-only targets that have multi-core processors, um, different architectures, both the Xilinx Zinc chip and also Intel-based uh, real-time targets. And what we have the focus on is making it so you can bring in all different, mo different types of models into the real-time processor, um, add additional logic on the FPGA, and then your I.O. to the real world, connect to the real world. Now, a trend that we are working on is being able to take, hopefully, you know, through FMI, bring models eventually onto field programmable gate arrays so that you could have a distributed, a very high speed um, modeling uh, cap uh, and simulation capability. So, um, the board that I passed around, by the way, has that base board 
which is the shared architecture with Compact Rio and an option in our PXI hardware, but it also has a daughter card. Now on that daughter card, there's a potentiometer, and I'm just showing um, some LabVIEW examples. This is LabVIEW control design and simulation module at the top, and this is LabVIEW mass script, a node within a control, a control and simulation loop. This shows the LabVIEW user interface. Here you can interact with your uh, simulation or controller as it's running. Um, and then I, you have your I.O. points here. Like this I.O. point is just the analog input for the potentiometer on the data card um, working with single board Rio that I passed around. What's unique about this capability and what we can integrate with these modeling environments is that once you bring the model into LabVIEW using um, different methods, you can then just hit the run button and run um, all the code is compiled into LabVIEW real time and it runs natively on the target. There is no C code generation required so that you can stay in um, one environment for debugging and um, working on your system. With the control design and simulation module, we have a block that's similar to the S function in Simulink. It's called the external model interface uh, block. And several companies um, shown here have either worked on integrating their, their uh, modeling environments into this through C code, um, or we, we've done that for the company. And right now I'm, I'm working on Open Modelica integrating that in. But if you want to add your name to this list, just let me know. I, I have a focus on LabVIEW control design and simulation module and mass script. And this shows a case study of what we've done with Siemens with our PXI hardware where you can put in different uh, boards for I.O. And this shows a top level model of the control design and simulation module. But this could be a model coming from any design environment running on the real time controller on PXI or it can be a combination of design environments. Now, NIVERSTAND is another um, software tool that we make. It's written in LabVIEW, it's configuration based, and it's meant for real-time test. And bringing in, uh, it definitely includes the capability of bringing in multiple models. Now, John Wilson is here uh, from NI, and he, he, he lives in Detroit, and he, he is focused on hardware in the loop, and real-time test, and um, you can talk to him during a break. And so his focus is um, NI Veristand, and this shows the different hardware that's involved. Now, NI Veristand, um, a key part of it is model execution within the Veristand engine, and that's where we have a long list of um, modeling environments where through C code generation from that modeling environment, we have uh, tested it, or the, the partner company has tested it with NI Veristan, and we have lots of customers using this technology. So some recent work that I wanted to mention was with um, Dimola models from, Di uh, from Dynasim and System Modeler from Wolfram. Both of these were using the FMI interface that was developed by Dockware. So Dockware is built an add-on for NI Veristan that allows you to bring in FMI models from multiple environments. And then once your model um, is brought into uh, Veristan, you can then run it in real time on PXI or on Compact Rio or on the desktop with the NI Veristan user interface and all the, the, the configuration-based capabilities. So this just shows a screenshot of what your, um, the Dockware FMI add-on looks like. You export your model as an FMU, and then within the Veristand environment, you can uh, pick your model, uh, your model type, whether it's a DLL or an FMU model, LabVIEW, MDL as well. But once you bring in your FMU model, then you can deploy and validate. This is from another company that's developed an FMI suite for LabVIEW. Um, and one example of this is to directly compare your simulation with real world data. And so this shows, these are the company's VIs that add on to the LabVIEW palette. And then you can place them in a, a LabVIEW diagram. Um, you can, here it shows loading in the FMU model and setting parameters and bringing it into, this is a while loop in LabVIEW, the structure right here, 
but this could be a control and simulation loop as well to give you the option of, of adding in a solver. So our plans with FMI is, I, I focus on LabVIEW control design and simulation module, and, and I work with the NI Veristan team. What we're trying to do is um, work on FMI demonstrations with real-time implementation, so not just for the desktop, for real-time hardware, and eventually for field programmable gate arrays. Um, right now, <laughs> like at this time, I'm working on the integration with Open Medelica, but I put dot, dot, dot here because if you want to talk to me about showing a demonstration of LabVIEW working with your tool uh, through an FMI interface, you know, let me know. And then we, um, and I Veristan, we have demonstrations with System Modeler and Dimola. But you know, one thing I'd like to say, emphasize again, is that both LabVIEW Control Design and Simulation Module and NI Veristand, we have methods of integrating with multiple models, uh, models from different uh, development environments, but we are going to move to standardize with FMI and actually use the same technology with, with both products. Um, and so our goal is to develop an FMI roadmap um, in the near term with both customers and, and partners.